Taking a look at Tanaka and the pitch breakdown in this game, we know a lot of sliders, a lot of splitters. Jack talked on the pregame about how he has to have those pitches in order to be effective. He did not have them against Texas. Eventually, he did in this performance against the Rays. And normally for the Yankees, they get a quality start and they win. They're 47 and 4 this year entering this game when they get a start of at least six innings and three runs allowed or fewer. Still on pace at 47 and 5 for the best winning percentage of all time. But Today, that just wasn't enough because the offense couldn't come through in what was a, a, a nice, steady performance from Tanaka. All right, that's what makes today even more frustrating if you're the Yankees because when this game first starts out, it looks as if Tanaka doesn't have that splitter, and the Yankees are sitting in the dugout saying, wait a second, this will be the second straight start. He doesn't have the splitter, but he makes sure that that deficit doesn't go beyond 2 nothing, and then he steadies himself, and he gets no offensive support. But I think what the Yankees have to like about Tanaka is how much of a professional he is, Ryan. Through eight splitters in the first inning. It was clear that pitch wasn't there for him. So in the second and the third inning, he backed away from it. Only threw it a couple of times. But David Cohn has always said, and he threw a splitter, you can't give up on your pitches. At some point in the game, you've got to find it again. And Tanaka found it in the fourth, fifth, and sixth. He went back to using that splitter as a weapon. He leaves down two to nothing after six innings. As you mentioned, that's a quality start. Usually that's a win. Not today, not with this offense. An abysmal performance from the Yankee offense.